What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner. So, we're almost there guys. Almost at a thousand subscribers. And to say thanks to y'all, I got an idea. As soon as we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna record my spot shown, crappy edition. So if you've ever wanted some brush piles and some areas that you know you're gonna catch crappy, <laughs> hit that red button down below. Share this video, like this video, let's get the word out. Now I'm not gonna give you all my spots, but I'm gonna give you enough spots, you know, from the upper lake to about the middle lake, cause I don't fish the lower lake. But I'm gonna give y'all five or six good areas, depending on where you want to fish, that could produce a crappie. I'm not gonna guarantee them. You, a lot of the spots you've seen in my videos, so you'll know how to fish them. But I got a couple clips from the other day. I didn't really go out filming a video, but I did film some of the catches. So I hope y'all enjoy them. Sitting there fishing a brush pile on a point and I catch one. Alright. This pontoon rolls up and anchors literally freaking beside me. It starts fishing asking me am I catching anything when they know they see me pulling my pole up with a crappy on it. I mean there's a lot of things that tick me off, but I mean they can have it. I live. I don't, I don't even know what to say, guy. But out of money. Found one. I can get him in the boat. Nice little chunker. There he is, guys. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Probably got hung on this one. No, we're good. <laughs> Now I gotta get my bug in a minute because I don't know if they were here or not. Put my dang sun hat on. It's getting hot out here. All right, let's get another one. Right, I'm gonna show you on my rig. So I got a Shrike King Shad dude up here. Two little balls on him. Big foot shot in a manner. About 10 and a half foot of line got a mr crappy reel on a steel star vertex so we're gonna lay that sucker out there and we got my old faithful mr crappy jig on a three 132 ounce jig head and a 410 slab tail crappy rod which I got a bunch more poles for my setup, but we're gonna start with one, see how we do. I don't like having a bunch out when it's shallow. You end up either getting hung or, you know, worst case scenario, you get all the lines tangled up. But let's try to get another one out here. Look at that man, man, I'm in this hole. 
<laughs> oh. Three, three so far. I just got here. What do you think? No. <laughs> he felt good though. Sucker got me home. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Got right up in my line. Now I have a hook in my leg. Oh, it fell out. Oh, thank God. Now I got a mess to clean. <laughs> well, caught one though. Dang Joker. Leg bleeding a little bit. It'll be alright. Number 11, I want to say. So we got nine more to go. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Joker bit the jig. Might be a few fish on this dang pillar right here. About 11 inches. Nice one. Number 12. Eight mo. Caught him on a little flapper tail jig with the long, the really long tail on it. 32 ounce jig head. He didn't even bite it. It was just a. He was just there. Unless you know what I'm talking about, it's hard to explain that bite. Like a lot of people miss a lot of fish because they can't feel when that happens, but. If you ever figure it out, you definitely catch a lot more fish. Cause I mean, the, the bigger fish that suck that thing in, you won't even know it. There's one out there. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Freaking joker. Oh, there's one on that pole right there. Got his ass. Look at me in here. This one's probably about eight inches. He'll keep number 14. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let me double check him real quick. Dang wind is trying to blow me now. Barely ate. So these fish right now, it's about 12 o'clock in the day. I really shouldn't be out here, but they biting. I just wanted to check it, but they about four foot above this little brush pile we got going on over here. And they are fired up. I say that, but now I probably won't catch another one, but I done caught three off of it. I think I only recorded one, but it's hard to record every single fish. I mean, I don't think y'all want a montage of 20 fish catches. I'm just trying to explain what I do. I mean, that's what this channel is about. This one right there. 
I mean, that's what this channel's about. I'm trying to help people learn how to fish, whether that's bass fishing, cat fishing, crappy fishing, brim fishing. You know, I fish for everything. And I have a lot of time to be on the water because of YouTube and because of y'all and all the Patreons and all the people that buy shirts and everything. And I have another little online job I do on the side. And I mean, I'm able to be out here three to four days a week. And I know a lot of people aren't. So that's why I, I try to teach what I learn. I mean, yeah, I fish mainly the river, but I mean, that's where I live. I live next to the river, so I fish next to home. I mean, I eventually want to branch out if I start making enough money to get a new vehicle or something. I mean, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. That's going to help a lot. I'm not going to say it's going to make me a millionaire, but it'll work. I thought I wasn't recording. I turned it off. <laughs> There's number 15. Slowly getting there, guys. It's about one o'clock now. But we should be able to limit out here, I'm thinking. They biting. It ain't a, a steady bite, but they biting. You know it's daggone summertime when a random cloud goes over the sun and you're so thankful. I bet this guy won't slow down for the no week. Told you. Memorial, or not Memorial, but 4th of July. 